how to optimize your business profile on Nextdoor and how to post on Nextdoor. If you're a local business owner, this video is for you. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer Sargent and I am the creator of Digital Sargent. I own a local business digital marketing agency called Digital Sargent. I also help freelancers grow and scale their business. But the reason why you're watching this video today is because you are interested in Nextdoor for your local business. And I have great news for you. In just a few short seconds, I'm going to explain how to optimize your business profile and how to post to your listing. So let's jump on in. Okay, so let's get this party started with optimizing your business profile on Nextdoor. So this is actually for a nonprofit that my mom um, runs, I guess you could say. So I'm helping her out with this um, business profile on Nextdoor and I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to record it and walk you through this if you're interested as well. So a couple things right off the bat, your logo and your cover photo need to be uploaded to the business profile to really enhance it quite a bit. So I'm actually going to list the proper dimensions that you want for each below. So that way you have them uh, pretty quickly for you. You don't have to worry about um, testing and trial and error and stuff like that. So I'm going to upload that right now. Okay, next we are going to add the business name. So the name of this business, or in this case, a nonprofit is the GFWC Brandon Junior Women's Club. And this is the address that they operate out of. Now, if you are a service-based business, you can uncheck this box, meaning you don't want your business displayed on next door for everybody to see. But if you do have a brick and mortar location, then definitely check that box. It's going to help people understand where you are in the map, location, uh, things like nature. The email that you want to add is the email where people could pot potentially contact you. So you're just going to add that there. Now for the website, you could do one or two things. One, you could just add your normal website like this, no problem. Or what you can do is add a UTM tag to it. So with this, you'll be able to see exactly in Google Analytics, you know, how many people came to your website based off of the next door business profile. So that's something you might want to consider. For the phone number, you can add a phone number if you have one for your business um, or you can um, leave it blank, but we are going to add the phone number. And then if you have a state license or contract license, you're definitely going to want to add that. For business hours, we are going to want to add that as well. Now, you definitely want your business hours to be the same that you have on Google. So just, you know, kind of keep that into consideration. But for this, I think it's pretty safe to do 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So we're just going to scroll and choose. Now, whenever you add your hours, the PM, it's going to add an extra little blocks. Like let's say you're a dentist office and you are closed for lunch at a very specific time, then you can add those hours where like nine to noon and then one to five or something like that right here. Okay, so business offering, you can add a URL to gift cards. So if you are a restaurant and you offer gift cards or something of that nature, you're definitely going to want to add that here and maybe consider adding a UTM tag to that as well. And then you can check if takeout or delivery is available. Now for categories, what you're going to want to do is type in a couple of things that would match your business the best. So for this, we are going to use nonprofit organization. And that's really the best that we have to include here other than other services or business. They don't have the word volunteer. Um, so nonprofit's probably going to be the best bet. So we're just going to leave that here. Now for your story, you're going to want to add some information about your foundation or your business. And for this, I would keep it super personalized and super neighborly, if you will. Nextdoor is really big on that. 
And then you can add a photo that would best tell your story. In this case, I'm going to actually use their logo and you can actually add a photo description. So you could consider this like an alt tag when it comes to search engine optimization. So you want to just describe what the photo is about. So in this case, I'm going to say GFWC Brandon Jr. Junior Women's Club logo and we will just hit save. So for the photo gallery, you can upload photos that best describe your business or your foundation. So in this case, I'm going to upload a couple of photos um, from their Facebook page of the organization out volunteering and doing really good stuff for the community. I have noticed that with whenever you upload photos to the photo gallery, sometimes it doesn't take every photo and sometimes it'll look a little blurry and things like that, uh, but just continue to roll with it. And you may have to upload the same photo a couple different times before it actually sticks. Okay, so now we're going to add a photo description of each one. And that is how you create and optimize your next door business profile. So you can hit preview and this is what it'll look like. You can see that there's a map location here, some contact information here. You have the banner photo here, the logo, the category. It is a verified business with a blue check mark. There can be other icons here. Like if you have a lot of reviews, there could be like a trophy icon here. This is the photo gallery. This, their story here and that is totally optimized. So whenever you get more recommendations or photos, you're going to see a lot of that here under these two sections and bada bing bada boom, that is how you optimize your listing. Now you can post to your next door account two times a month. So you can see that this was already done uh, four days ago, but you would hit create post. There's, it'll let you know two remaining. So you'll just click this. You'll give it a title, details, and then you add your photo. So for the title, I always put the first line of the post and I put it in title and then the actual post or copy that you want to put. You'll hit next and then you will hit next again and it's going to ask you the range of where you want it to be posted. So always take this all the way up to two miles and that means you're going to hit 55 neighborhoods, 15.5k neighbors and this is going to tell you the neighborhoods that you will be hitting within this radius. So then once you are all set and you're good with this, you would just hit post. I'm not going to do it in this case because it'll be posted the same thing twice. That is how you optimize your Nextdoor listing. If you have any questions about Nextdoor, you're ready to take Nextdoor to the next level for your business, be sure to check out the link below. I am now offering services for local businesses or nonprofits to leverage and to use Nextdoor more aggressively for hyper-local targeting. So I will see you in the next video.